This is Shane Leonard, EE47 Data Logger Lab. Um, so this is my data logger. It's a mouse um, with a button and a an accelerometer. Um, and so the mouse actually works by tilting and clicking the button um, to click as the mouse would click. Um, so the data that this logs is um, calibration data because the accelerometer is not equipped to um, be fully calibrated when it comes out of the box. Um, so what you have to do is read the range of values from the accelerometer axes and store it in EEPROM. Um, and then once you do that, once it's calibrated the first time, um, you can just store those and not have to calibrate it every time. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that. upload the sketch because I don't usually calibrate it. Alright, so it's uploading. And we're going to go to the serial monitor. So it's calibrating, and basically you just have to turn the accelerometer in every direction as far as it will go along every axis and go really slowly because it's measuring the forces. So basically it's just storing the minimum and maximum values of every axis. So this looks like good data, so we're just going to let it sit for a little bit when it doesn't see any new minimum and maximum values for a while, it will just stop running the calibration. So this is it looking for new values. Alright, so the calibration has stopped. So now it's logging the actual um, data that will be used to control the mouse. So as you can see, the mouse is actually moving around the screen, and that's me controlling it with this. Um, as I tilt it in every direction, the mouse will move as if there's a little ball rolling around the surface of um, the mouse. So I can actually go up here and close the serial monitor with my mouse just by clicking. And now, this is how we visualize the data. This is not a necessary part of the mouse, but this is a nice little visualization of what's happening. So I'm, this is my processing sketch. And it's also reading the serial monitor and um, looking at what is going on with the mouse. So actually, is not hooked up to the right serial port. So let me change that. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, all right, so this visualization basically mimics the orientation of the mouse. So you can see as I tilt it down, sideways, up, it shows how the accelerometer is oriented in three dimensions. And that's what you're using to actually control the mouse, um, that data, the pitch and the roll. Um, so most of the software is actually just being used to translate the accelerometer data into usable pitch and roll data. Um, and so then this is just the visualization of the data. This is actually something that a normal user would not ever see. Um, these are just the calibration constants that are in the EEPROM, in the um, memory of the mouse. And as you can see, they will be um, 
consistent um, in the EE prong. So um, if I unplug the mouse um, and had it not calibrate anymore, which we can actually do um, by just commenting out the calibration line and uploading it again to the mouse. So it's uploading. Alright, so the mouse still works. Um, I'm going to start the processing sketch over. So as you can see, the calibration constants remain in the storage. Um, so the reason I decided not to make this a normal part of the interface, like normally someone using this would just plug the mouse in and use it as a mouse. Um, part of interaction design is knowing what data is relevant for the user and what data isn't. Um, and this kind of data is not something that the user really needs to know. Um, so it's an abstraction and the actual physical mouse is basically an abstraction of lower level data that the user does not need to interact with. Um, so in this case, hiding data actually makes the device more intuitive and easy to use. All right, so that's my data logger um, for EE47, spring 2013. I'm Shane Leonard, and I will see you next week.